These days there is a constant pressure on musicians like myself and like some of you to come up with content for all the various social media, long form content, but more often than not short form content. A common thing is that there's a visual element as well as the actual music. Traditionally, long form content could take the form of a band performance and even short form content could just be little snippets from a track or an acoustic version. But for those of us who make various forms of electronica or music where we don't really play an instrument, we're studio based, performance type video is not really an option. So you're then left with abstract arty videos. And once again, unless you're a videographer or have got friends who've got decent quality cameras and some imagination and maybe a bit of money, it's tricky coming up with something that's usable. So one option we have used for both long form and short form video is kind of slideshow base videos where we're using appropriate images that go with the music and editing them in such a way that it produces something that's reasonably watchable but showcases the music. Sometimes we use sites such as Rotor videos to do some proper fancy in time with the beat, all kinds of fancy stuff going on. But sometimes we do it ourselves and often there's just a dissolve from one image to another. The problem with us and with some of you is our subject matter. The last couple of years we are deep into mythology, Norse and Celtic myths in particular, or into medieval themes, or into fantasy and game type music where once again the themes are kind of quite medieval. A few years back we did quite a few tracks that had roots in science fiction and the trouble with all of these is unless you know a bunch of cosplayers and you can find somewhere outdoors where there's no tower blocks or pylons in the background to do some filming very difficult to come up with any footage hence the option of using images and doing slideshow type videos is one way forwards even there, we have struggled to find images that work with our music, but also that weren't just totally too expensive. A lot of your well-known sites for getting stock images are ridiculously expensive. I probably need a minimum of six or eight images to do a three or four minute track. That adds up pretty quickly when you are as prolific as we are. I have used a company called Canstock where the prices are actually quite reasonable but I still struggle sometimes to find images that really work with the material we're writing. Which leads me on to the subject of this video. Artificial intelligence generating images and in particular mid-journey. I only discovered it a couple of weeks ago and it seems like it's actually pretty new out there generally in terms of the wider public becoming aware of it. Midjourney and other similar things such as stable diffusion, and there's a few of them, take verbal prompts, a bunch of descriptions or words, and a few instructions that you can add in, and they will create images for you. And if you've seen any of our videos over the last two or three weeks, for both older material and current material, and some of our one minute tunes that we do for Instagram and TikTok and YouTube Shorts, you'll see some AI generated art. I'm using Midjourney in particular. I occasionally then play with it a little bit in Photoshop, but mostly I'm using the images as I'm creating them. And as time goes by, I'm getting better and better at convincing the software to come up with something that works. I am blown away, staggered by the quality of some of the images. And we're getting good responses to some of our videos. So there's tunes that came out a few years ago that had tens or if I'm lucky hundreds of views to their original videos and they're getting way way more than that with the new videos just because the imagery is stronger 
And it comes back to this concept that in the modern world, we are used to seeing something visual along with the music. Gone are the days when you would be in someone's house and you'd stick the latest release by Pink Floyd or somebody on the hi-fi and you'd all sit around and just listen to it. That's long gone. We are used to dipping in and out and seeing something happening. I think it's actually a minority of music videos now that are actually a narrative where you've got a story and you follow it through from one end to the other. I do see occasional genius pieces of work along those lines. Uh, an example that comes to mind is Anawana by Heilung, which came out uh, whenever it was, a couple of months ago. Absolutely amazing. But that's a minority, and they obviously had a massive budget because it looks unbelievable. Artificial intelligence and things like Midjourney have made it feasible for some of us to make videos where we don't have to worry about narrative. We just have to worry about coming up with something that's eye-catching and will keep your attention long enough for you to hear the music. And hopefully the music and the images complement each other. There is, of course, a big discussion in the art world as to whether art is now dead because artificial intelligence is creating these images and there are people who are saying it's not art. And then the other half of the art world is like, well, you know, actually, this is great for generating ideas and for concept art in particular. And the reality is that every development in artistic expression has led to better things eventually and has not killed the thing that it was apparently the thing it was replacing. People said painting was dead when photography was invented. They were wrong. Painting remains. And they'll say the same things about AI generated images, that it's not art. I disagree. As long as I'm feeding in prompts and guiding it and shaping it and doing post-production work on it, it is art. And at the end of the day, art is art if you and I decide it's art. And if you see one of our album covers or a clip from one of our videos, you don't know whether I've painted it or whether Mid Journey has created it. Well, you might with Mid Journey because some of it's quite obvious, but you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, an image is an image. Does it complement the music? Does it create a particular emotional response in you? If it does, then as far as I'm concerned, it's art. New developments always lead to new opportunities. I think the next thing is artificial intelligence being able to do video content rather than just still images. Now, I know some of that already exists. I'm not sure that that's really at a high level of usability yet, but the speed at which still image AI is developing implies to me that video-based AI is going to be, within a very short period of time, it's going to be a thing. And it's going to be really impressive. And we will all be doing things that we never thought we'd be able to do visually. As I said before, particularly those of us who deal with science fiction and fantasy and game music, it's a godsend. Finally, we can actually create images that work with our music. I love it. I hope you like what we're doing. Do check out all the recent content on our channel and you'll see examples of some of this art. And bear in mind, this is my first two weeks of doing it. So give us six months and we will see where it takes us.